Hi, what I want to talk to you about today is the Wagtail Hip Dipper. I've visited this subject before, but it's a sort of a bucket on a belt, which is a very squidgy. You can sort of squeeze the water onto it. That's if you use it as a bucket on a belt with water in. I don't actually. I never have done, even with the original bucket on the belt. All I've done is use it as a, a tool holder, you see, and it sort of catches the drips and you don't get a wet leg. Now, what I'm going to do is modify the wagtail hip dipper so it's even better than before and I'll show you how and why and how much lighter it is than the original uh, type of bucket on a belt that we all use as various brands available. All right, I'll just show you. Let's tip that round. Now then. Here's one of the buckets on the belt I've been using for a long time. It's the Atori one. Uh, the others are available, of course, and I've got quite a few different types. It's quite bulky and heavy. It bangs around on your leg, etc. Uh, many of us use them, but to what I've done is modified this one, uh, as you've seen in my other videos. I've just cut a slot, and this is really just for the wagtail. Uh, as you can see here, it's got the pad on it as well, and it just flips. And uh, what? you can do by cutting that slot in. Because Wagtail has a disc, it slots in much, much easier than before. Whereas before the slot was cut, it tends to sit awkwardly on top here, like this, and will tend to just fall out. So with a slot in, of course, it just slides in right to the bottom there, as you can see. So, what does the wagtail hip dipper look like? Well, it's just basically a plastic bag, as you can see there. But it's quite strong and durable. Um, there's two, one inside the other. You can perhaps just make out the logo of the one inside there. If I pull that back, in fact, you can see the other one there. Okay, that gives it a bit of extra strength and durability. But they're so replaceable, that of course, they weigh, weigh virtually nothing. Of course, if you do use it like a bucket on a belt with water in, you can squeeze it from the bottom to wet your mop. See the white tail mop here. But this is not how you use it. The white tail dipper, hip dipper, it comes with, you know, you get a load of them. It comes with a sort of a framework here, like this. Okay, you've got two uh, small, uh, like, catches here these buttons, okay, that's to hold it on. Now, in order to make the wagtail fit better, because again, this has the same problem, once the plastic bag's on that, if you put the wagtail on top, it doesn't sit very, very well, and it tends to fall out much easier. So what I've done is cut a slot in this one as well, as you can see there. Don't cut it right through, because it won't have the rigidity then. But there doesn't need to be very much left at the bottom. You can see it's like a, a V-shape so that uh, the wagtail will just go in nice and neatly there. It accommodates it really well. Okay, you can see that there. So cut that out. Okay. Ease these two buttons out that you get with it. We'll put them back later. Smooth off the edges. Right, it goes on the belt, you don't have to thread it through because it's got the press button studs which I was daft enough not to realise before so I was trying to thread it through <laughs> but they just clip on so it makes it very easy to put it actually on your belt Okay, once you've cut that slot out, because it will make a big difference then what you need to do, get hold of one of these um, hip dippers themselves the first thing we do you don't really need this big flap at the top, it'll just get in the way. Right, but don't cut it all off. Get the scissors. You see where the seam is? Start at the seam. This is important. Cut just above it, then raise up like that to make a sort of a flap of about three inches or so. Go back down again to the seam. Discard that bit. So that's what you've got left there. Okay. Now what you need to do is fold it over 
and make a slot in it. To start it off, you just need to cut a bit of a slot in it like that. Hope you can see this all right. Just cut a bit of slot in it. Like that. This is important for later on. Okay, now the reason for this is so that the actual belt here, the attachment belts, will actually go through the top here. As you can see, so that will give this a bit of added support, and I'll explain that why that's required later on. It's as simple as that. Okay, that's that bit. Now, what you need to do to get them on, it's easier now because you've got some movement here. You can see me squeezing it there to get these bags on. So what I do is start back to front with that flat bit on the wrong side and I just twist the thing around just keep twisting I don't know if you can see that properly camera work until you get it nicely over the top there and there we go, we've just about got it Don't worry about the attachment belt side of it just yet. Right, easy up so you've got it nice and level, the logo at the front there. Okay, you want it level with the edges here. Okay, perhaps just a little bit proud. Then you get your knife or your scissors, you puncture a hole in each of the holes there, make sure there's enough. puncture two holes, you get your buttons, okay, and just force them through. It's dead easy, they go in really easy. As you can see there's the next one, sorry, and that's fixed in place. Now you get your belt here and force it through. that little slot that we actually made earlier on. And what will happen there is that will give some extra support and stop the actual thing from actually sliding off, especially when it gets wet. Now it won't slide off at all, you see? Especially when I show you this bit, because now you'll notice that the slot has disappeared, so it completely defeats the object. So what you have to do here, which can actually weaken it, but because these are so dispensable, if you do get a tear, you can just either tape it up at the bottom here until you change it next time, or just change it all together again. Right, just get the scissors, and from the edges that you've cut, go right down, almost to the bottom. There you go and then make a, a rounded off cut. And you can see that better. A rounded off cut at the bottom. Like that. And there you have it. And that's why this slot here is vital because now it's not got as much grip because we've opened it up and it would tend to just um, pull off previously. But now it won't, it'll stay there. The wagtail goes in nicely. As you can see, it fits absolutely perfectly if you get it right there. You can have it with the handle there. Sometimes it's a bit awkward to get in and out like that, or you can just have it so it's just resting on the top there. Let's lift that up a little bit. You can see how tidy that is. It's much more ergonomic like that. I prefer to just get it all the way in. 
like that. You can see just how good that is, that's fantastic. It weighs absolutely nothing. Now the next stage, just put it on your on your belt, your belt system, and that is very, very easy. You put it wherever you like. You get this in the camera view here. Right. Just wraps around like that. And clips on with the studs. There we go. And that's that's on. You can see that properly. See how that works? Fantastic. And of course your wagtail goes in nicely. You don't get a wet leg. It's light as a feather and if you jump in and out of the car with this it won't be as awkward at all as previously with the bulky, heavy, very rigid bucket on the belt that we used before. I can tell you it's so much lighter. You think you've forgotten it and left it behind. So, well, there's another job you can be getting on with. I'll be using this for Monday. Um, I'm giving it a good trial because I've not trialed it properly yet, but I will be. So there you go. That's the uh, Wagtail Hip Dipper. I think that's going to be a great success. Job done.